Samsung HWQ90R is the successor of the HWN950, Samsung's best soundbar so far. It offers exactly the same sound, at least on paper, being an exact copy when it comes to channels and transducers. However, it comes with improved connectivity, and it launched at a much cheaper price than its predecessor, which makes it an automatic recommendation being the best Dolby Atmos soundbar of the moment. Design The HWQ90R is big and heavy, and it requires some head clearance to fit under the TV. A metal grid envelops the soundbar on all sides, since all of them have transducers. The only things breaking this monotonous design are the Samsung and Harman slash logo, and a small row of buttons at the top of the bar, that can turn it on and off, adjust the volume, and select the source. The subwoofer is one of the few things that have changed a bit. It is still wireless, the driver measures 8 inches, and the sound still comes out from the right side, but there has been a slight redesign that offers a more controlled bass response, compared to its predecessor. As for the rear speakers, they are also the same ones that came with the HWN950. They are self-amplified, so they do not need to be connected to an amplifier slash receiver. Of course, they both need to be plugged in. On the soundbar's rear, we find all the connections. This is where the HWQ90R improves significantly over the HWN950. Not in terms of the number of connections, but in terms of quality. The HWQ90R has two HDMI ports compatible with 4K 60P, HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and HDCP 2.2. The other available connection is the Toslink port for optical digital audio. It is good to have, but keep in mind that with this connection, you can only get Dolby and DTS 5.1 audio, so using this connection with a soundbar such as this one, is just a waste of money. As for wireless connections, there is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The connection to your Wi-Fi network is done via the SmartThings app. Once connected to the network, you can use Spotify Connect, as well as an Alexa speaker to control the soundbar. The biggest fault here, at least according to me, is that the HWQ90R doesn't offer support for Google Assistant, Chromecast, or Apple AirPlay. It doesn't even support Bixby, Samsung's own virtual assistant, which says a lot, hardware. The HWQ90R features 18 transducers, 13 on the bar, 4 on the rear speakers and the one in the subwoofer, in a 7.1.4 channel configuration. The three front channels are composed of one tweeter and two midwoofers each. Two full-range transducers installed at the ends of the bar, emulate the sound of satellite speakers. Another two full-range transducers are located at the top of the bar to project sound to the ceiling, and thus emulate the sound of Dolby Atmos and DTSX. The last four full-range transducers are found on the rear speakers. Each one has two channels, one for the back effects and one projected to the ceiling. Last but not least we have the subwoofer, with its impressive 8-inch diameter driver. This impressive collection of transducers, manages to reproduce both Dolby Atmos and DTSX as faithfully as possible. Sound The sound is simply awesome. This is undoubtedly the best Dolby Atmos soundbar of the moment. It offers clear audio, with high fidelity reproduction at all frequencies, and a definition that can be matched only by last year's HWN950. Obviously the HWQ90R shines brighter with Dolby Atmos and DTSX content. The sound is incredibly good, has an overwhelming quality, and a spectacular surround effect. I even dare say that the HWQ90R provides a sound quality above its price range. You don't believe me? Try it with a rainy scene in Dolby Atmos, and be amazed at how you feel the rain drop from above all around you. There is no other soundbar that matches the sound immersion of the HWQ90R. Stereo music reproduction is also spectacular. There is no doubt that this soundbar offers high fidelity reproduction, with absolutely clear and crisp vocals, and a stereo image that gives the instruments the necessary separation, making the music sound as if you were at a concert. Having said all this, the inclusion of room correction in order to calibrate the equipment according to the characteristics of the individual rooms is still missing. I understand that most users who buy a soundbar will not want to waste time on this kind of thing, hence the soundbar, but with such a piece of expensive high-end equipment, it would be a very valuable addition for the home cinema enthusiasts. Verdict The purchase of Harman was one of the smartest things Samsung has ever done. Thanks to it, its audio division has improved a lot, 
and today Samsung is the company that produces the best soundbars on the market. The HWQ90R is one of them, and also the best so far.